the divine masculine is very action-based focused on doing rather than being in this video i'm going to be showing you five divine habits that channel the divine masculine Divine masculine energy is at play with things like assertiveness, confidence, speaking up for yourself, and sometimes fighting the good fight. Where divine feminine energy can be more passive and willing to compromise. Sometimes there are things in this world we need to fight for, and situations where we need to draw a line between what's wrong and what's right. The masculine is good at setting boundaries and creating that line. Similarly, this plays into the idea of strength and not just physical, but emotional strength as well. Divine masculine energy is deeply connected to the warrior within, where divine feminine energy can be very internal and reflective. Divine masculine energy relishes in doing things out in the real world, like having adventures, making changes, Saying what's on your mind and taking risks is also an energy that's often associated with things like logic and critical thinking. Everyone has both masculine and feminine energy, regardless of sex or gender. A few key words to keep in mind that are related to the divine masculine are risk taking, assertiveness, action oriented, discipline, boundaries, confidence objectively logic and analysis warrior yang and survival the divine feminine and divine masculine can be thought of as yin and yang they're both necessary for balance but they are very different the objective is to strive for a balance between both take the example of a leader Leadership may be thought of as a more divine masculine quality, but how can one be a leader that honors the feminine? Considering compassion and the needs of others is a primary function of leadership. If you feel like you're lacking divine masculine energy in your life, here are some ways you can channel your divine masculine. The first way to channel your divine masculine is use affirmations. Affirmations are a powerful tool for shifting your mindset and activating certain parts of yourself. You can think about affirmations as related to some of the masculine traits that were previously discussed. Traits like strength, discipline, and logic. Here's a handful of affirmations to get you started. Repeat after me, I am a warrior. I am a master of self-discipline. I see things clearly and objectively. I am confident. I know when to take control. I know when to take action. By simply repeating this to yourself each day and truly believing within each of these affirmations, you will begin to manifest and take form in those affirmations. Take risk with confidence. The divine masculine does not shy away from a little risk taking. If you're someone who has a lot of great ideas, but you're afraid to put those ideas out into the world, divine masculine qualities are necessary to make your visions a reality and meet your goals. Be willing to take risks. Hope for the best, but remain unattached to the outcome. What's meant for you will be, and what isn't, won't. So trust that things will work out as they should, and go for it. The second divine habit that I have for you is make it a habit to start where you are. Be willing to start where you are right now. Even when you don't feel 100% ready, Excess feminine energy can cause stagnation and inactivity. So when in doubt, do something. It's about being able to be assertive, but still maintain that integrity with who you are. 
Just have confidence and don't downplay it. And if you take initiative and start from where you are now, you'll eventually reach your destination and find your divine masculine. The next habit is you wanna make it a habit of working with masculine teachers. Consider the areas you feel strong in, where you may struggle, and how patterns play out for you as a result. Figure out what areas you wanna work on and call out on any divine masculine teachers to help inspire you. Follow and learn behind people who bring value into your day-to-day -day life. If you can't realize any current divine masculine teachers, you can become your own. By doing something as simple as subscribing and turning on post notifications and consistently watching and keeping up with our videos, you've now become your own divine masculine teacher. By being able to take away something from each and every one of these videos, you're taking one step closer to finding and embodying a divine masculine being. So be sure to subscribe with the bell icon so that you're notified when we post. The next divine habit is going to be less internalization and taking more action. Along with taking risks and starting where you are, it's important to start recognizing when you're keeping a lot of ideas internal and wanting to perfect it before you put it out into the world. One approach that could help is leaning on your intuition. A bad habit that I once used to have was wanting to be perfect before I even begun doing anything. Before I even started YouTube, I once would try to perfect my videos and would constantly change, delete, and add things consistently. But after working on myself and leaning a little bit more on my intuition, I just started posting. And over time, I gradually got better and better at my craft and I will continue to improve as I continue to make more and more videos. I'm saying this so that you may understand why it's important not to try to perfect things and why it is so important to start now and lean more on your intuition and not allow your mind to hold you back from doing anything that you set out to accomplish. The next thing that we need to make a habit is to have a better relationship with our masculine. Heal your relationship with your masculine. Perhaps you've had a bad experience with the masculine before. Whether the results of your interaction was with men, overly aggressive people, or even your father. I suggest looking at those moments when you may be stuck, particularly if you had trouble embodying it before. Dive into your own ideas of what the divine masculine is, why it matters, and how you can start integrating it. Your idea of the divine masculine doesn't have to be the idea of everyone else's. Personally, I believe the divine masculine is not only masculine, but is also feminine as well. To be able to be a conscious leader and a strong divine masculine being, you must also have an even balance of the divine feminine. It's extremely important to be able to be considerate of others and to be sympathetic with how others might feel. It's very easy to get blindsided when you simply only have one or the other. It's easy to be very masculine and not be able to sympathize or connect with another person on an emotional level. It is also very easy to be too emotional and not be able to see things logically. This is why that balance is so very important. So be sure to strengthen your relationship with your divine masculine and patch up any negative experiences or unhealthy situations. There's a lot of misconceptions of what divine masculinity and femininity actually mean, but it's becoming more and more clear that we all have our own balance between both. Just like yang and yang, the divine masculine and the divine feminine work in tandem and they consistently fluctuate when need be. If we could simply understand and balance between both, we'd all be so much better off. Expand your divine masculine 
and feed your soul by subscribing to this channel with the bell icon so that you can stay notified when we post. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave this video a like. It will be greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching. And remember, with each and every one of our videos that you watch, you take one step closer to reaching your goal and your destination. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.